Hello guys, how are we doing today? Welcome back to our channel and welcome to this video. I don't believe you're doing good, I don't believe you're doing great. In this video, we're going to be doing an analysis of GBP USD and what to expect from the market this week. If you're just coming across our videos, you're just coming across our channel and to say welcome, it's good to have you. What you want to do right now is click on the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell because we release videos like this almost every day letting our viewers know what to expect from the market per time and you don't want to miss out on any of such videos. Now let's get straight into the business of this video. Last week when we did our analysis on GBP USD, the market was here. Yeah, the market was here and we did say that the market will be going bearish for a while before it goes bullish and it only went bullish on Monday and Tuesday then on Wednesday started buying. This was how far we expected the bearish move to get to, but it did not get here. Instead, it started buying on Wednesday and Thursday. Then on Friday, I think after the release of the news on retail sales, the market sold and closed as a bearish candle. Now let's start analysis on the monthly time frame. On the monthly time frame, we've, we've been here a couple of times. We've seen, um, we've said in previous times that the market have been selling consistently for a pretty long time, that the region where the market is currently at is quite a low region and it has never gotten to this region in the past 22 years. And you can see the RSI, the market has gotten to the um, oversold region. And we've said in previous videos that whenever the market gets to the oversold region, um, we should start looking forward to a bullish reversal candlestick pattern, which will also cause a bullish move. So we can see that in the month of September, the market sold really hard. It got down to this region, to this point you can see. Then it started buying and the month of September closed as a hanging man, which shows um bearish move or let's put it this way the hanging man shows a bullish rejection at the same time shows that the bears are still in the market then this month of october it's still in session and we are just entering the third week so the market on the monthly time frame this is the third week and we can see the market currently showing a doji we don't want to be conclusive about this but we are going to see till the end of this month to see how the market will end on the monthly time frame. Let's consider the um, weekly time frame. On the weekly time frame, we can see here three weeks ago the market ended as a pin bar, which is a bullish reversal candlestick pattern. We did expect the market to go bullish, which it did a bit on that's two weeks ago. You can see it bought a bit and got to this region then started selling again and of course you can see from about this region the market has been on the over on below the oversold region you can see right now it's still at the oversold region and last week ended as a small bullish candle with a long upper and lower week we're going to come back to that then on the daily time frame we can see after the market uh, made this bullish move both from here to here and having gotten here of course a retracement is expected the market started selling a bit got here and started buying again then on friday it closed as a bearish candle making this a bearish arami then the four hours time frame on the 4 hours time frame, you can see after this bullish move, we did say that when the market got here, we did say that the market will sell, which it did, and it sold a bit, got to this region. Like I said before, this way we were expecting this bearish move to get to before it started, before it starts buying again, but it did not. It stopped here and started buying again. Having got into this region, it started selling again. And like I said, um, the market ranged here for a while. Then, after the release of the news on retail sales, the market sold and we had this significant bearish move. And the market closed as a small bullish candle on the 4 hours time frame, which was also the close of um, last week. Now, what do we expect from the market this week? That's what this video is about. Now, the 4 hours time frame 
is showing that a bearish move has started. You can see here we have a bearish candle, a healthy bearish candle. Okay, the market bought up to this region, then ranged a bit. Then we can see this healthy bearish candle. And look at the daily time frame. The daily time frame ended as a bearish arami, which is a bearish reversal candlestick pattern. And the weekly time frame is showing indecision. You can see this is a small bullish candle. It's a small candle. Let's um, get the facts here. The candlestick is small. It has a long upper week and a long lower week, which shows that there has been contention among buyers and sellers. There was a time buyers were running the market. There was also a time sellers were running the market. And at the end of the of the time frame, both buyers and sellers were still struggling for the market. So it closed as a small bearish candle. It could also as well have closed as a dodgy. Yeah, that could also have happened. But buyers were still able to hold a part of the body for a while. So we have a long upper week and a long lower week. This shows indecision. So coming back to the daily time frame, I need us to be quite critical here. On the daily time frame, we can see the market has gotten to the over so region. That's a fact. Then started buying. The market started buying and got to this region before it started selling. And it did not sell down to this region. It did not sell down here. It stopped somewhere along the way and started buying again. But when it bought, it did not also get here. It stopped somewhere along the way and sold. So this is a fact that uh, this proves that there is indecision in the market. Now, it, there's a possibility that the market could sell this week. Because here we have a bearish arami, which is a bearish reversal candlestick pattern. It could prompt a sell. Then the 4 hours time frame, we also have um, here the 10 simple moving average has crossed over the candlestick. We have here a significant bearish move that could mean that the bears are now in the market then the weekly time frame ended as a bullish candle even though small it ended as a bullish candle and the daily time frame if we consider the fact that we have um this was quite a low if the market got to the lowest region it had been then we could want to say this is a higher high and a higher low that this is just a retracement and the bullish move will continue. So it's possible that the market will go bullish. There's also a possibility that this bearish move could hold. For that reason, I wouldn't I would say that we should not enter the trade immediately the market opens. We should wait for the candlestick on the day the candlestick on the daily time frame to close. So when the market closes on the daily time frame that's um this week we're going to see if it closes as a bullish candle it could this could be either a bullish arami or a bullish engulfing bar then we'll know that it's um the bulls are taking over the market the market could go bullish or the market should go bullish then if it closes as a bearish candle of course we'll have a bearish candle closing below the 10 day simple moving average and we could also say by then we could say that the market will be going bearish so these are possibilities in the market and we want to be pretty sure about what's happening before we take a trade so that's why i've said when the market opens we should not take a trade immediately we should wait and observe the market and be very sure of where the market is going to before we take a trade so that's what we are saying about the market this week if you have a different opinion you can use the comment section if you have any question you can also use the comment section i'll be glad to have a conversation with you like we always say trading is a highly risky endeavor you don't want to venture into trading without proper knowledge if you want to register for our complete forex training check the description of this video you're going to see a link where you can register for complete forex training where we give beginners to advanced classes ebooks and lifetime mentorship if you don't have sufficient knowledge about trading you don't take this trade you can watch this video for educational purpose it will serve you better than risking your hard-earned capital on something you don't fully understand if you want to subscribe for a signal service where we give proper entry stop loss and take profit also check the description of this video you're going to see a link where you can subscribe for a signal service 
and if you want to get a copy of my book trading without tears check the description of this video you're gonna see a link where you can get the soft copy if you want the hard copy send us a direct message to any of our social media handles tell us your location we'll tell you the cost of shipping it once your payment is confirmed you have the book delivered to you so that's it from us on this video i hope you got value see you in the next video bye for now